Hey, I'm Gimba Petty, and today I'm going to test these. You may have seen these before. These are ground isolators, um, and I got three different ones. They are all basically the same. To isolate the ground, which is over on these, from these. And they work basically all the same. It's just two transformers for one one for each channel and I'm going to test these because um, I had this one before and then I bought these and just connected it and thought well they sound the same it's just a transformer but they didn't and then it came to my mind well let's test them if they degrade the quality the volume anything to do this I have here on the other screen uh, Asus Xonar U7 sound card and I disabled the uh, the Dolby functions and I'm using Order City set to the same prod uh, to the same sample rate as my in and output and I'm just feeding on the hardware the headphone output straight back into the microphone input and set the level roughly to be the same so minus three dB goes out and minus 3 dB goes in if I connect the cables straight. Alright, uh, let's just connect the cable straight to get a base measurement. Like so. Let's see if I can bring the camera closer. Just straight out, straight in. And in order city, I'm going to generate a noise. White noise contains a lot of frequencies that's provided randomly, so there should be a good spectrum if we analyze this plot. Um, we see it's logarithmic, so it doesn't really jump round around a lot. The center line we can see when we change to linear. It's around minus 44.2 decibels, roughly. Okay, if I play this now, well, you can't hear anything because I disabled the audio on the PC, but it's just, you know, and I feed this back into the microphone input directly. Let's see what happens. I do this for around 20 seconds to get a good amount of data. You can see the volume is minus 3 dB, slightly above, and the output level is also slightly above. Alright, let's stop and analyze the second track. As we can see, it's slightly louder. It's around 3 to 4 dB or even 5 dB louder. The center point is uh, 39 dB and it rolls off at 24 kilohertz, which also could be because of the sample rate, sample rate and aliasing or whatever it's called. I'm not going into detail about this, but that's the base input, and I take a screenshot of it. And just save it on my desktop as a reference. And I name it the base. All right, let's remove the second track and connect up the first one. I use this one. I got this off the German supplier Pollen DE. It cost me around four bucks. Let's see how it does. All right, it's all connected up. In order CD, I just click record. It plays back the noise track and records what it hears on the microphone input. Again for 20 seconds. As we can see, the volume level is the same, so no degradation over there. 3 dB is about half. And it's notable. All right, 20 seconds, stop. Let's analyze. As we can see, 
it uh, raw it it's at 40 db so 40 db louder minus 40 db it's 40 db louder than feeding it directly and it rolls off by around 10 db down to 3 hertz well it's usable for audio maybe not for subwoofers for sub bass i immediately hear some improvement after taking um, after removing the isolator just fixing the ground uh, ground loop problem on my amplifier all right let's take another screenshot and move it onto my desktop and name it pollen and let's repeat that again delete the track connect up the next one the next one will be the chinese one the cheap chinese one this one it did cost me like two bucks i bought a whole bunch of these because i needed them for a project but after i hear the quality i was not surprised that i didn't use them at all it's uh, i rather let in the box let's see i click on record again and there you go again around the same volume level it's jumping a bit and you can see in the track there are a lot of spots compared to the other ones a lot of gaps and all that okay 20 seconds let's analyze oh man midpoint is about 42 db a bit lower maybe 42.5 db the average and it rolls off at 24 hertz 4 db down to 10 hertz and then it goes off scale that's weird oh okay let's take a screenshot and i call this one the chinese one even if all of them came came from china again delete the track and connect up the next one the next one is a car car power monaco monaco is known for audio products maybe not that top best quality but they are certainly not this cheap uh, china stuff not that uh, cheap china stuff is bad there are a lot of great products out there but for this case i rather get these let's connect it up and back in order city i just click record again the volume level is about the same as always this is more like the maximum volume level not the average as we can see later in the spectrum 20 seconds and it stops and analyze and this is great the average is about 95 93.5 and it rolls off at 6 hertz to 46 so 60 db lower at 2 hertz which is perfect that's why they are used in audio applications where big subwoofers and all that is being used and this is just great okay let's take a screenshot and i name it aluminium or just alu, alu because it's an aluminium case all right i put all the spectrums on my screen now obviously the base is the best it's a direct connection and you get some almost dc content it's right around the one to one half hertz mark and well it's it's the best one obviously the next one the pollen one rolls off at at fuck why didn't it took a screenshot of the hertz weird program never mind it rolls off quite a bit the Chinese one obviously breaks down below 20 hertz and you will hear that in some kicks and it got a real notch in there. I have no idea what that is. And the Monaco one is not as steep as the pollen one in the higher parts. And well, it goes a bit up, but not much around half or one dB. Its average is good and it doesn't roll off as quickly as the Chinese one and it's better at the roll off at the pollen one and just for fun I connect all of these in series let's see what happens 
I got like, as I said for my project, like five of these Chinese ones, these green ones that are awful. Oh. So I connected all these in series. There are five Chinese ones, the pollen one and the aluminium Monaco one. In order CD, I just click record. I al already increased the volume, so it's at minus three dB because there is a huge uh, volume. The volume goes down by a huge amount. It was at around 33 dB and the noise flow is already quite high. So let's begin. Again, 20 seconds. The volume is jumping around quite a bit. And as I said, the noise flow was like minus 42 dB, which is high. It also could be because this is it's, this is a high impedance setup. I don't have a amplifier connected and this could also cause some problems. Let's analyze and <coughs> the hell is this? It looks awful, isn't it? Oh man. Uh, let's let's crack on with the with the audio tests. <laughs> this is awful. Uh. All right, now I've got the three on my bench, and I'm going to test them using some music because that's the best way to tell the audio quality. Your hearing is better than any measurement uh, device. All right, I. I'm on purpleplanet.com, which is royalty free music, and I play the track Blast. You will hear it in the video. So let's let's begin. Okay. First off, using a direct connection, which is seen in the upper right. Let's go. seconds not more now I'm going to switch to the pollen one to keep the order now it's the pollen one rewind one which is the cheap Chinese one rewind And now the expensive one, the Monaco. I actually haven't looked how much it cost. I just got it off the local yard sale for two bucks. But I will write it down in the comments and link to all of these in the description. All right, uh, now this one. Just for fun, all of the Chinese ones, all of the green ones, in series. Ah, that will be bad. That will be bad. I may have to increase the gain again. And let's play the track again.
And just because there are people out there, I know there are people out there that want to hear all of them in series. Always to the extreme. I obviously gonna do that. Because I want to hear it too. Awful, 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 awful. Let's wind back. All right, that's it. Um, putting them all back to the side and enjoy listening without them. Let me know in the comments which did sound the best. I think the direct, connect direct connection is always the best. If you can avoid having a ground loop, it's better. But if you just can't avoid it, like I don't know what's causing it, and you, you, you need one of these, better spend some uh, some few bucks more than two or three maybe 10 maybe 15 and you will hear some less audio degradation so let's turn them down first i begin with the pollen one to keep the order it's in a round enclosure with a cut line or just two halves put together and some heat shrink I'm using a good knife for this and you can find this one on gear breath and uh, let's see fuck never mind just a flashlight there we go it's just held together by two pieces like this. I first thought I'd make pieces like this because I had one that was like this. Just cut the tape to see inside. It's wrapped in some aluminium foil. Looks like thick aluminium foil, shielding foil, some electrical tape, and as I said, not much, just two transformers. The audio quality depends on how good they are made, on how good the lamination is and how good the, the windings are. These look like, well, off-the-shelf parts, no markings on them, no part numbers, very simple. Let's put them back together. And the next one is one of these Chinese ones. And they're screwed together, so let's open it up. Again, but no shielding tape this time, just two transformers that are wound in a one-to-one -one ratio to don't give any extra gain. And, well, I can't tell if they're any better or worse. Obviously they sound worse, but it's, it's down to the, the smallest parts inside which determines the audio quality. Let's put it back together again, if I can get it back together. And the last one is the Monaco one, the expensive one. I just looked it up, it's around 17 bucks on Amazon, euros, of course. It's also quite good shielded in this aluminium case. And they even separated 
the ground of the RCA plugs or chinch as we call it from the casing even though it's not very tight fit but if they touch the case and these touch the case you've got your crown ground isolation so let's see how they did that maybe they just put it in there and hope for the best all right slide it out yeah standard RCA plugs normally they are red and white but no idea where they did that did get the two white ones again no parts on the other side just two transformers these are wrapped in red not blue not other colors and I really can't see any quality difference to the other ones the gap between the lamination and the coil on the outer side which doesn't really matter it's more like the inside um, is as big as on the others soldering well there is some lots of residue from the flux nothing critical and the board is marked a and f 22 c no idea and well the quality difference comes from the transformers itself let's put it back together i wish they had some isolation between the rca plugs and the housing in case something bends and touches the housing and if there is current flowing in the car you know that that casing is mounted to the chassis which is also ground and you got some weird ground loop bullshit uh, it's it it makes your day worse but what can you expect for 17 bucks oh, that's just two parts nevertheless i still will pick this one or the pollen one it's not too bad there we go all right that's the comparison between the pollen one the chinese one the super cheap chinese one and the 17 buck monaco one Ye i put the links to these in the description if i can find them this one is obviously on ebay if you sort for price and select china it's uh, popping up everywhere and this one i will include the link to it on the description to amazon amazon germany and well that's that's it thanks for watching and if you've got any questions leave it in the comments